Iran says it reserves the right to respond to the Israeli terrorist attack that killed two military advisors in Syria. The Iranian mission to the United Nations says the attack was highly provocative and aimed at increasing tensions. In a letter to the Security Council, the mission seriously warned Israel against taking further adventuristic and malevolent measures. The mission also described the attack as a criminal act that violates international law and the United Nations Charter. It called on the international community to firmly condemn such actions and hold Israel accountable. On March the 7th, the regime launched airstrikes at a site near the Syrian capital, Damascus. They killed two members of Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps who were in Syria on advisory role. Now to discuss that story further, I'm joined by Tim Anderson. He is the director of the Center for uh, Counter Hegemonic Studies joining us from Sydney. Tim, welcome. First, uh, Iran describes this act as uh, an act that violates international law and the United Nations Charter. Can you explain that to us, please? Yes, it's a violation of the sovereignty of Syria. It's a violation of the sovereignty of Iran, which is in Syria by invitation of the Syrian government. So it doesn't matter what capacity those two uh, people were acting in. Um, they were murdered unlawfully um, by the Israeli state. And as the Iranian uh, government representative said, they have the right to retaliate in a proportionate way. That's as regards international law. And uh, one more thing, Tim, um, Iran's advisory role, or those people who are in Syria, Iranian nationals who are in Syria and an advisory role, uh, they are there at the behest of the Syrian government, and they are there to help Syria fight terrorism. And when Israel attacks Syria, killing its forces, uh, let alone the civilians who are losing their lives as a result of these attacks, um, now, this can, in turn, help strengthen terrorists in Syria, don't you think so? Well, yes, it's very clear that Israel has been playing a, an auxiliary role to the terrorist groups in Syria. It's directly supported some of them in the south. It's launched attacks when there have been activity in the north. Um, and as I said, it doesn't matter whether the Iranian uh, invitees in Syria were in an advisory role or a combat role. They've been helping. Uh, Syria deal with the terrorist problem that's been fomented by NATO and by Israel. Right. And what do you think, what is the aim of these attacks? What is Israel seeking here? Killing uh, Iranian advisors and uh, killing Syrian uh, military forces, uh, those forces who are fighting terrorism in the country. What is the aim of Israel here? Well, I don't think it's different to that of the US and of NATO and of the terrorist groups which they sponsor, and that is they want to weaken, destabilize Syria, make sure that there is not a strong axis of resistance against imperialism, against Zionism in Syria, and that is to say on the front line of occupied Palestine. They don't want to see a Syrian victory in this war against terrorism because they feel that their occupation of Palestine may then be threatened. Tim Anderson, thank you so much for joining us. A pleasure to have you on Press TV. Tim Anderson is a director for the, counter, for the Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies from Sydney.